Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bells chime in, jingle bell time. Dancing and prancing in jingle bells square. In the frosty air, what a bright time. It's the right time to start the video. Oh. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I planned that beforehand and it turned out so awesome. Anyways, what's up YouTube? Glad to be back. I just got back from the gym filming all the clips that you're about to see for the booty, the glutes, and also legs. There are exercises and movements in this video that are for beginners, intermediate, and advanced. So I hope that you all like them. Just take them out of this video, make your own workout, I hope you all enjoy this video. It was really fun to make. So if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this, go ahead, give it a thumbs up for me. It really supports my channel. Also, subscribe to your girl. And if you aren't already, follow me at Hope Fallon Fit on Instagram. I post workouts on there as well that aren't gonna be on YouTube. So all of the workouts are going to be in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first movement we're gonna be doing is just a step up. You can do this on a bench, chair, or box. It really doesn't matter. The goal is when you tap down to have your leg at a 90 degree angle and keeping the weight of your body towards the front of your toe and then pushing up through your heel. It's also important not to push up with your back leg. You want to be using your glute and hamstring as much as possible and also don't pull yourself up with your hands. This movement is great for glute activation if you're doing a warm up or even for my beginners out there as part of your workout. So this is another one of my favorites. It's a hamstring curl on the cable machine. This one is great for my beginners. It really isolates your body, so you're only focusing on the movement. There's no bouncing or lifting. And the reason why I crawled out a little bit in the beginning is so whenever you go all the way down, the weight isn't hitting the rest of the stack. And the movement is going all the way up, pause for a moment, and then all the way down. So you're getting a really nice contraction. And yeah, my face is on the floor. How lovely. This is another hamstring exercise. I'd like to say this one's intermediate, but it could be advanced. I'm using one of the ERGs, which is a rowing machine I have in my gym. You could also use sliders or towels. The goal is to keep your hips up the entire time, not to let them drop and then put your legs all the way out and in. If you notice, I stick my thumbs up right there. I am so cute and the faces I make are just right on. All right, so this is one of my favorite glute, glute activation exercises. It is a glute hip thrust it can be used to warm up the booty for leg day, or it can be used in your workout if you are a beginner. I like to put a weight on my hip. The weight is optional, and then you just want to put it on your hip and push up through your glutes. If you want it a little bit more advanced, go ahead, put one leg in the air, and it puts more tension on the opposing leg. I just, I'm sure my spine is breaking. Oh, my leg is wobbly. How cute. So this is the same movement, except it's a little bit more advanced. I'm using the quad extension machine. I like it because it has a nice pad and it's already set up so there's no mess. But you basically want to put the pad where the weight was when you were lying on the floor. You want to go down. I would go down a little bit more than I'm going just for a bigger range of motion. And then push up through the heels and squeeze your glutes at the top. This movement is great to transition out of the floor movement, but also it progresses you towards using a barbell or a smith machine. This is a Bulgarian split squat, great for beginners. 
You don't have to use a step up, but I really encourage you to push yourself and try. It's a great stabilization exercise, but you basically are going down into a one-legged squat. So make sure that your knee is not going over your toe. So this is the same workout, but just adding weight to make it a little bit more difficult. Again, going down into a squat and pushing up through your heel and squeezing your bum at the top. Make sure you're not leaning too far forward or arching your back. And yeah, I'm really awkward on this mic thing. I am so sorry. But side tip, to make it a little bit more advanced, you can add a hop in there. This movement is a beginner deadlift with a kettlebell. It is really important to watch your form because you can hurt your back and your knees. So slight bend in the knees, shoulders, I mean your feet, shoulder width apart. And when you bend down, it's just a hinge in the hips. Your upper body should stay in a straight line, no arch or bow in the back, and then hinge them back as you go down, pop up, squeeze the glutes, and keep your shoulders back. Don't let your shoulders fall forward. So this is a different version of a deadlift, but I'm using a cable machine. Most gyms don't have this machine, but don't fret. Just go ahead, grab a bench or a chair or a box and some dumbbells. And it's the same movement, but the reason why I elevate it is you get a deeper range of motion to get a big stretch in the hamstring. And same rules apply. You want a slight bend in the knees and you want a flat back, no arching or bowing. Shoulders stay back and then it's a hinge in the hips. This movement I absolutely freaking love. It is a deadlift to a squat with a dumbbell or a kettlebell on an elevated surface. It is for my intermediate to advanced lovelies out there. It is really important to watch your knees, make sure they're not going in or out, and make sure your knees are in track, meaning in line with your toes. Uh, go down a little bit further than I'm going. I can see that I've got some tightness in my hamstrings, but really get a full stretch, full range of motion, and push up through the heels. This is a burner, but I absolutely love it. So I hope this video has helped you all and I really hope that you can use some of these exercises. If you have any questions, go ahead, comment down below, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more just like this and subscribe, subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.